Covering Wisconsin weather for 20 years, Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Colder weather is on the way, but if you want cold weather, at least compared to what we've been seeing lately, you're going to have to wait until the weekend. Here's a look at your seven day temperature trend. Highs tomorrow will be in the mid 40s, 50 on Wednesday, upper 40s Thursday, right around 50 on Friday, and then turning sharply cooler. As we head into the weekend, high temperatures will only be in the 30s, and that's a huge drop off from what we've been seeing and specifically what we saw today. Highs were mainly in the 60s across northeast Wisconsin. We had 65 degrees in Berlin. It was 63 in Green Bay, 62 in Oshkosh, and the high temperature in Manitowoc was 61 degrees. These temperatures are running 20 to 25 degrees above normal for this time of year. We've had a cold front move through since we reached those highs in the 60s. And that cold front is cooling us down, especially closer to Lake Michigan. Winds are turning to the north and east behind that front, and that means we're getting some extra cooling coming in from the bay and lake. 42 degrees in Kiwani compared to 55 in Oshkosh, and we're still holding on to lower 60s here west of Lake Winnebago. In Green Bay, it is cloudy in 49. There's that northeast wind at 14 miles per hour. We have northeast winds in Appleton as well. The temperature has dropped to 55 degrees. NBC 26 Precision Radar shows dry weather from Green Bay South, but north of Green Bay, it's raining. It's been a long time since I've said it's raining. You have to go all the way back to December because we've had nothing but snow or a wintry type of precipitation since that time. You can see right now it's raining across Door County, Menominee County, Marinette County, also Oconto County, Shawano County, back up towards Rhinelander. All this activity is moving off towards the south, and it is starting to dry up a bit, so we're not going to be looking at a soaking rain, but most of us will see at least a period of light rain or some showers as we head deeper into the evening. The satellite picture shows the cold front dropping to the south, and this cold front means business. Behind it today, temperatures running 25 to 40 degrees colder than what we saw yesterday. And that means temperatures tumbled back into the 30s and 40s across parts of northern Minnesota and North Dakota. Meanwhile, south of it, it was feeling like the middle of summer. Records being smashed all over the place across parts of Iowa, Nebraska, Kansas, and Colorado. Many spots getting up into the 80s and 90s. We even had a high of 80 in Boscobel today in southwestern Wisconsin. Now we had temperatures today that were running above normal, specifically 23 degrees above normal. That means we've had 10 straight days with above normal high temperatures. And even though it's going to cool down tomorrow, tomorrow will be day number 11 because our normal high is 40 and most of us will see highs in the mid 40s. Precision cast shows any rain or clouds this evening clearing out by daybreak tomorrow and that'll equal lots of sunshine for your Tuesday. So tonight look for evening showers and then clearing once we get past midnight. It's going to be windy. Overnight lows will be around 30. Tomorrow bright sunshine, windy and cooler, but still above normal with a high right around 45 degrees. We can expect partly to mostly sunny skies on Wednesday, 50, mostly cloudy on Thursday. Around 50 on Friday for the first day of spring. For the first full day of spring, the temperature really drops off on Saturday. Chance for a little bit of light snow. Highs will be in the 30s as we head into early next week. And then we'll start to moderate a bit as we move deeper into March and start thinking about uh, April already. High temperatures will be back up into the 40s. And by that time, that's where we should be for this time of year. So even when we're cooling down, it's really back to normal. Yeah, and it's kind of crazy that above, that above normal temperatures are going to feel cool yeah. tomorrow. We were lucky this weekend. It was beautiful weather. Yeah, we've had a nice stretch of warm weather, no doubt about it. All right, thanks, Cameron. Still ahead on NBC 26, plans are set for a major...